Hello, my name is Morten Nielsen from the WASP team and now I'm going to demonstrate how to import data into the WinFarm assessment tool. And I go to File and select New Project and then uh, a Standard Project. And then I'll import the data which I generated by WASP Engineering and uh, the wind turbine for this project. And then it's asking uh, which kind of uh, wind turbine class is is on the certificate and uh, this is something uh, defined in the IC standard. Um, you have this scheme where wind turbine classes they have different uh, reference winds uh, which is uh, they're designed for the, for this extreme wind and uh, different uh, turbulence subcategories and there's addition Three and uh, there's also an older edition two, which had four uh, wind turbine classes. There's also something called class S, where the turbine manufacturer can uh, set uh, some, uh, or they can define uh, these limits instead of using the standard ones. Um, I'll go back to wind farm assessment tool, and uh, I'm guessing uh, edition two and uh, a high. A turbine class and a low uh, turbulence category. And uh, actually, I could change that later on if I didn't know exactly what it is. So here we have uh, our project sites, and they imported the data from which was stored in the Excel uh, uh, documents. So um, then I also need, if it was an onshore site, then I needed to add terrain data, uh, which I exported from WASP Engineering and there was a warning saying that the resolution was not good enough. This is because uh, it was an offshore project and I wanted to extend the map to include the, um, the shorelines of the, the nearby land. Uh, but uh, if it was an onshore site then you would, uh, you would work with a finer resolution. So um, this is nearly all you need to get started with a with the project in most conditions. Uh, I'd just like to show uh, something special which you can do for offshore wind farms because uh, here then the wind climbers it doesn't vary much uh, between the turbines positions and it takes a long time to calculate. Maybe you had a, a new wind farms with more than 100 turbines and it would take a long time. Uh, so the idea is that maybe you could only calculate for a few positions and then interpolate. So um, to show this, then I'll go back to uh, wind farm or to wasp engineering. Uh, here I have my, my wind farm and uh, I can show the positions here again. There was a wind farm, I'll make it a little bigger, uh, with the 10 turbine sites. Uh, these sites, I will store the positions uh, on a file. And uh, um, there are two uh, file types. I take the ASCII files here because that's what uh, uh, can be read into WinFarm assessment too. And uh, I'll also then I'll make a copy of this, copy to clipboard, and then I can uh, make a new group. So I insert these from the clipboard. So now I and I want to do it insert it as a group. So now I have a second group. I call this uh, the reduced um, the reduced wind farm. And uh, I know that the corner positions that's uh, side 1 and 10 and 5 and 6. So I'll uh, delete the other ones. Uh, and uh, I have this stored on file, so I can delete this. And then you can see that there are only four uh, turbines in this reduced uh, project. Uh, and then there is a idea that I can generate the data here, go to Tools, prepare data for WinFarm Assessment Tool, and uh, then it needs the WASP uh, WinAtlas file. it is for for this site and uh, the 
the wind turbine uh, file and then I'm ready to generate the, the new data. Uh, I have already done it so we'll just take a we'll go to uh, to the wind farm assessment tool and then I can uh, can can show you how to import it. So here I'm back in the wind farm assessment tool. I'll clear this project and then start again. So I import the produced file. And the turbine and give it a classification. So have a now I have a project with only four sites. And then I select the group of all turbines here and I right click on this and then from the, from this pop-up menu then I can say load the site list and interpolate. And these are these sites here. And now I have 10 sites. So this is what you can do for offshore wind farms to save time.